NHLPA, the IOC, and the NHL agree to send the players back to um, the Olympics. They skipped out on Pyeongchang. I've been having trouble with Kakadiemi, but I'll be able to get Pyeongchang very easily. <laughs> um, but it's so they skipped out on Korea. What do you think about it? And what are you looking forward to right now? Silk. The Olympics? I, I mean, the U.S. roster is really an intriguing one. I, I mean, you're going to probably see Adam Fox playing defense for them. He's probably going to play big minutes for them after this year. Um, is Jack Eichel going to play? Like we, we don't know if Jack Eichel's going to play. Another reason for him to get whatever surgery he wants. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he. we don't know if he's going to play. Um, we, I mean, do, do both. The Chuck brothers make it. The U.S. has such a young and up and coming roster. I mean, Canada is obviously the odds on favor. They're just stacked, especially at forward. Their goaltending looks a little shaky. Their defense still looks pretty good, but that forward core is just nuts. It's insane. There's just so much talent up front. It's not even funny. And then, you know, Russia. I mean, they have two of the better goalies in the entire tournament. And they've got a good group of forwards. Does Ilya Kovalchuk play? I mean, they've got some guys from the KHL that could probably do damage on Olympic-sized rinks. So, uh, I, but I'm, I'm looking most forward to seeing Team USA. And I definitely want to see what the jerseys look like. I hope they're nice. They're always great jerseys. Anthony? Um, well, it comes down to the, the players really like representing their countries in the Olympics. So, um, they wanted, they wanted this badly. Um, they got it, um, you know, with some drawback, I know it was said that I believe like if they contract, um, COVID while they're there, uh, I don't believe like the NHL PA insurance is going to cover it, but that's something they're willing to, they're willing to sacrifice to get this done. Um, and listen, the f fans like playing. You like, I mean, every time the NHL is, has been represented in the Olympics, I've watched the games and it's really enjoyable. Um, like we talked about a few weeks ago, that, that Parise goal against Canada to tie the game late. I mean, that was an incredible moment. Um, you know, I'll, I'll never forget that. Uh, so Olympic hockey is awesome. You know, I mean, it, the only thing that rivals winning a Stanley Cup is winning a gold medal for your country. You'll hear the players say um, so it's going to be, you know, passionate, you know, emotional hockey. Um, I'm looking forward to it for sure. As far as which teams are going to compete, I mean, John said it, the Canadian team just looks unbelievably stacked with the options they can go with at forward. So I'm curious to see how they end up building their team. Um, I mean, their center depth with, with McDavid, McKinnon, Crosby, you know, uh, Barzell point, it's just insane. Um, that team is going to be a juggernaut. Uh, USA is still going to be, a, they're going to be a solid team as well. You know, Matthews, Patrick Kane, even though he's getting older, he's going to be one of the top players there. You have, you know, you have the Kachuk brothers, um, you know, then you have guys like McAvoy and Fox on defense. The goaltending is really strong. Uh, Hellebuck and goal for sure. Um, and then there's Russia. I mean, Russia is the defending gold champions, you could say, from the last Olympics. Uh, or should I say the Olympic athletes from Russia, being I don't think they're still allowed to play under the Russian flag still. But, um, you know, they're, they're always going to be a good team. You know, you have all their skilled forwards, even though they're getting older, Malkin, Ovechkin, uh, Datsuk still playing in the KHL. Got to assume he'll be on the roster. Um, you, uh, Kuznetsov, remember, is not eligible to play because he's banned, so he will not be available to them, which hurts them at the center ice position. Um, you know, but they have, um, you know, uh, Shipachov from for who tried out with Vegas a couple of years ago and then make it went back to KHL. He's one of the top players there. He'll probably be on the team. Um, I think he just had a hat trick in the KHL just yeah, this week. Yeah, he did. Um, and their goaltending is John. I mean, you're talking Vasilevsky, Varlamov as the as the two goalies. Um, you know, and then we said, I'm sure Shesterkin and Sorokin will probably battle for that third spot. Um, but when you have Vasilevsky as your number one, those guys really don't get to see much playing time. Let's face it, he's the best goalie in the world. Who um, are the three the goalies you said for Russia so far? I said it's going to be Vasilevsky, Varlamov. And okay, you did say Varlamov. I missed yeah. the Varlamov yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then don't forget about the, the Nordic countries like Sweden and Finland. Um you know, they're, they're good teams. Finland plays a, a stifling defensive brand of hockey. 
uh, you know, they're going to be competitive. And then Sweden, you know, Robin Leonard will be in goal. Um, they still got some talented, talented players, you know, Philip Forsberg. Um, so it's, I'm really interested to see, I think it's good for the game. I think it's good for the, the league. Uh, and obviously, as I said, it's great for the players. So I'm on board with it. Let's just hope that, you know, players don't suffer injuries. So, you know, it affects their team back home in the NHL when, when it's over, that's the only downside to it, but, um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, and again, you know what? I had to stop myself when, when I started this up, uh, because of about whether or not it's the right time to go or not. That's a previous video. You can check it out on one of the, on the marks. However, uh, I, you know what? There is an excitement for, uh, Olympic hockey coming back and that there were so many great moments and what 2018 kind of felt like, um, it, it kind of felt like uh, the last season of Scrubs where they're like, oh, look, we got a couple cameos from older people that were in here. Uh, but really, the show isn't really the same. That's what 2018 was. Sure, you had a Brian Gianta in in there and uh, uh, Ilya Kovalchuk was playing. But let's be honest, if they had the all-star rosters that were in every single one of these games, the, the, it would be huge. It would be uh, appointment viewing and you have to watch it all the time. Just think about it like this. When um when TJ Oshie scored, were you awake for that? That was did we talk about the shootout game? The shootout, was, yeah. Was, I'm sorry. TJ I think that was yeah. during I remember Yeah, that I was home for that. I'm pretty sure that was during the day. The no, it was it was um That's... nine o'clock in the morning. Okay, yeah. So all right. I didn't sleep the night before. Yeah. I didn't bother sleeping because I got off of work at about 5.30, got got breakfast, went home. It, it was 7 o'clock was when it was starting, and I just figured, no, you know what? Boom. I watched that entire game, and I was a vegetable the rest of the day, but that's a different story. Um, <laughs> but it's just it's stuff like that. Romanell asks us a good question of, will Yager be on the roster? And sure. you, he might be playing anyway. I mean, how uh, Peter – I don't know. Peter Nedved, is he the first guy ever to play for two different teams in the Olympics? Bobby Holik for- had um, Holik had uh, played for the U.S. He had he also had double citizenship, so Holik played for the U.S. and then played for the Czechs as well. Okay, okay. I mean, regarding Yager, it's not it's not like the Czechs are a country like um, like Stacked, Slovakia. Yeah. Slovakia or Denmark who only have like a few NHL Kazakhstan, players. Yeah. He, they, they're deep enough where they don't need a, what, a 50, however old he is, a 50-year-old Yarmir Yager. So I, I don't think he'll be on that roster. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't happen, know. But uh, a 50-year-old Yarmir Yager might be better than uh, some of the guys I got on their roster right now. You know what's wow. an interesting one? Um, Jake Jacob Chitron, um has – has dual citizenship, but I heard he's already played for Canada at a younger, you know, um, when he was younger. So I, I think he'd probably represent Canada over the U.S., but he does have dual citizenship. He has a strong case for making it, too. He he, he had a hell of a year this past yeah. year. He's, he's, yeah. yeah. And he's, he's one of those guys that I don't think Arizona is going to move in their total stripped-down rebuild. Um, but so uh, – yeah, it's, it's 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 for for that. It's a great thing that the United States is going back to the Olympics, and or not just the United States, obviously the, the NHL players. And now we get to see what it looks like when Connor McDavid, uh, Nate McKinnon, and Sidney Crosby are the three centers that we're going to have to face when you have to face Canada. Damn it! So I mean, they, they, I mean, you never know. With the, they have so many line combinations, but. Can you imagine if they had a line of of McKinnon, McDavid, and Barzell? You know how much speed that is. Like I, 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 <laughs> I don't know yeah. what that, I don't know what that would do to the opposing team in defense. But that that's like that's like way too much speed. It's almost unfair. I don't know you if know, the three of them could play together like that. How the hell? Who the hell has the puck the entire time? <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. three that's guys that are going to want the puck about all this. Yeah, it, it, like I said, it's unlikely to happen, but I'm just talking in, in terms of, like, skating ability and speed, that line would be absolutely incredible. But, again, that's what you love about this. You start seeing stuff like that, and then you get, like, a 2006 where 
Um, Canada was upset by uh, Switzerland. So, and that go that goes a long way. Uh, so, guys, I do have to go with my five. Yeah. I got my five greatest moments from Olympic hockey over the last uh, 20 years for, since Nagano. By the way, once again, we are uh, giving away a hoodie and a sweatshirt from uh, Hattrick Apparel. There you go right there. There's some of them. And check them out. Uh, Hattrick, there's a dash and then apparel. But all right. So coming in number five, rookie goaltender in 2006 is an outstanding player of the tournament and wins the gold medal. Henrik Lundqvist bringing home the gold for Sweden. Um, we mentioned this one a minute ago, but it's very true. And I love this picture too, that I found for it. TJ Oshi in Sochi. Yep. Sochi, um, Broshi, Oshi. Yeah. And, and again, it was, it just, they kept going back to him. It looked like the United States was going to lose at least twice and facing not necessarily elimination, but, and he put two in the net. Um, it, it was literally the, the Taves Mueller shootout from the 2007 World Juniors seven years later in the, in the Olympics. But the, the difference Olympics. was with that, it, it's, it was just Oshi. They went Kovalchuk and Datsuk, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, and then they started going to just Kovalchuk. Yeah. yeah uh, that is true, too. Well, number, uh, number three... Got to go with the upset of all upsets since 1998. The Belarus team beating the number one seed, oh, Sweden. God, it was Tommy unbelievable. Salo. And you could still, yeah. if you watch that game, it was, I think it was a 2.30 in the afternoon game. You can still see Tommy Salo jump up, having the puck hit his shoulder, fly over his head and roll on the net. That was and I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, get boys. Bruce lost the light. Yeah, he was the only one on there. Ruslan Soleil of the Anaheim. I'm oh, sorry. They were still the mighty ducks of Anaheim at that point. Coming in, number two, got to go to the Nagano Olympics. He had the goal. We are Dominic Hasek stoned Canada. They, they won in shootout, and the only goal in the shootout was scored by <laughs> Philk. Uh, wasn't that Peter Nedved? Robert Reichel. Oh, right. Oh, that's yes, right. right. Robert yes, Reichel, yes. who was using right. a Hespler hockey stick while Rain, <laughs> Wayne Gretzky was on the other bench. On the bench. And that was Wayne Gretzky's hockey stick company. This oh. one is an honorable mention to me because this 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 Olympics, the 2002 Olympics to me was was the pillar of the Olympics. Um way there the united states versus canada there were so many hall of famers on the ice so many guys have scored a thousand points in the league and um and it's the one time i could point to in any of this canada was the underdog and and the united states was the ones rolling through people guys what? i gotta take a breath because uh number one we know what's coming and that's vancouver 2010 Sidney Crosby's OT winner to beat Ryan Miller. Still remember watching that game and thinking to myself, the shootout lineup that the, that America could put out there, thinking about Kane and T uh, versus Taves, and um, I look up, Crosby scores. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> was, uh, describe that. But that I Parise was, goal, still is, that's going to yeah. live forever. I was crushed. I was yeah. crushed. But that yeah, that Prize goal was was I that was that was just awesome. That yeah. was awesome. Now and, and that was also a hell of a team that they, they put together that year. So yeah. yeah. And uh I mean we we know about the uh USA hockey do or die that I have um uh that I edited back when I first started this channel. It's also uh, one of my greatest moments in um American hockey history. So, by the way, guys, check that out. I'll provide the links to it above. Uh, is there any moments you guys could last? I mean, so I, I mean, me ben, personally, you know, or any of them. <laughs> but the Team USA trashing the room. <laughs> <laughs> That's not one of the best moments. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, before, 
No, that's not a moment. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, Kachuk's, but you know what? Without that outburst from Kachuk, and maybe they don't trash their dressing room, they don't perform as well in, two, in 2002. And they were motivated to not only save face, but to get their reputation back. And the only the only thing I wish I could go back in time, go into an alternate reality where Brett Hall elevates that puck, and then it's, and then I, I the game is tied, and yeah, yeah, and that that, that, Mario, that Mario Lemieux play where the pass through the legs, and I think a Ginla scored the goal. It was either a Ginla or Korea. Forgot Korea because that was the line. It was it was Lemieux, a Ginla, and Korea. Yeah. <laughs> and they did Jeez. not start off well in in Salt Lake. Uh, they were getting guys were getting torched left and right. Yep. But again, what do you guys think? Uh, are there any other great Olympic moments you could think of? Throw it down in the comments below. And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. <laughs>